Hey everybody, WWE Fan Talk Show here. Today I'm doing an unpackaging of the nameplate I got for the US title. And uh, I talked about it in my belt collection video. If you haven't seen that, make sure to click right here. All right, so I said I'd get AJ Styles if he won at Backlash, and unfortunately he didn't. So I chose to get the wrestler that was holding the US title for the nameplate. So yeah, I'll get right into that. And also I've never done a belt review for this, so it's pretty convenient and I'll do a belt review on it. So let's get into the package. All right, so there's like bubble wrap. There's that, oh, everything's out. All right, so I spent like 30 bucks, I think on this. So yeah, so cool. Three, two, one, who did I get? Seth Rollins, that's right. When I got the US title, Seth Rollins was holding the WWE Championship and the United States Championship. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I got this Seth Rollins nameplate. And then I don't, yeah, that's engraved. Wow, they engraved it. That's pretty sick. Wow, that's awesome. There's the nameplate and here's the title. All right guys, so I'm gonna take off the nameplate that is blank. And all I need to do is take a flathead screwdriver and just unscrew these. When I first got the title, I didn't know if you could take off the nameplate or not because it was commemorative. I know now, but I didn't know before. So yeah, now I gotta pop off. Here's the nameplate. Gotta pop off these screws for the new screws. So those are popped off. All right, so there's the screws. Now into the Seth Rollins nameplate. So just gotta take these screws off. Unscrew those. All right, so there it is. So you just hook it in like that. Flip it over. Hold this just in case it comes out of place. So you just kind of have to line it up right there. Take these screws, find the hole. Just gotta screw it in tight. Okay, that's good. So here we go. There we have it, Seth Rollins. It would suck if, uh, you know, I put in the name because there's like a customization button you click and then you just type it in, but it would suck if I typed it in and they got the name wrong. Then I'd have to, uh, you know, deal with that. So yeah, um, when, it, when you type in on the customization thing, the name, you don't have to type all caps like it is right here because it just automatically puts all caps. So yeah, this is like a really, really awesome thing to add to my title belt. I eventually want to add this to all my title belts because it, I don't know, it adds like a little bit of spice onto the titles to make them look more professional, more real. And uh, yeah, the US title is definitely one of my favorites. The only thing that's missing that WWE Shop doesn't put on their replica belts for this is the uh, gold tip, which is, which is fine. Comment down below if you like the Seth Rollins nameplate and if I ever get another nameplate for the US title, which US champion I should get. So yeah, that about sums it up for the US championship review and the nameplate. I highly recommend this. This is really cool. You just go on Amazon, look up WWE nameplates and they give you a whole list of uh, titles that you could get nameplates for. So I'm probably going to get the Undisputed Championship nameplate next for The Undertaker or something. So yeah, that's it guys. WWE Fan Talk Show.